My name is Michael Young, and I'm a lawyer who handles contested estates in Texas. One of my primary focuses is on will contests, both representing persons who want to contest a will and also defending wills. There are several reasons for overturning a will in Texas. There could be a problem with the execution, could be a technical issue with the will. Uh, other grounds are that the testator lacked the sufficient mental capacity known as testamentary capacity to execute a will or that the will was the product of undue influence. So what is testamentary capacity? Testamentary capacity, in, in short, is the mental capacity of the person making the will to understand the effect of what they're doing, understand the nature of their assets, and understand who the natural objects of their bounties are. And that's typically their uh, relatives, their spouse, their children, their close friends, who it would be the natural bounties of their affection to leave their estate to. Or if they're not leaving it to relatives, to understand why it is they're leaving it to somebody else. Uh, Texas law provides a specific test that a jury will answer for testamentary capacity. And I'll briefly go through those elements. The first is, does the decedent lack sufficient mental ability to understand that she is making a will? Or do they lack sufficient mental ability to understand the effect of making a will? That What's the effect of the document they're signing? Or do they lack sufficient ability to understand the general nature and extent of their property? In other words, do they understand the difference between having $1,000 in the bank versus having a half million dollar account somewhere in maybe five or six different mineral interests? If they think that they're a pauper and they're really worth millions, well, that can have a significant impact on what they're doing, and they need to have the ability to understand that. And do they lack sufficient mental ability to know their next of kin and natural objects of their bounty? Do, do they forget that they're married? Did they forget that they had a child? It can happen when people have diminished capacity. And finally, and this is an important factor that I've seen uh, that a jury will struggle with in determining capacity. And this is an important one. It's, does the testator lack sufficient memory to collect in their mind the elements of the business to be transacted and be able to hold the elements long enough to perceive their obvious relation to each other and to form a reasonable judgment as to those elements. That's going beyond, do I know what my assets are? It's going beyond, uh, do I know who my relatives are? It's the ability to take your, the pieces of your assets, and that, and that could be much different for some people. Someone who just has a house and some money in the bank, well, that's different than somebody who may own five different pieces of property, may own mineral interests, may own partnership interests. And, in the, and so the test is practically is going to be higher for someone who has more sophisticated assets. Do they have the ability to, to organize in their mind what those assets are, to, to memorize those long enough, in a way that they can determine who it is that they want to receive those assets. That's a lot more than just saying what day of the week it is or recognizing someone or having a witness come in and say, well, you know, I talked to them for a few minutes and they, they seem to be okay. Being okay or seeming to be okay is not the test, particularly under that fifth factor. And those five factors I've outlined, the testator has to meet each and every one of them or they lack testamentary capacity. Call me if you have a potential will contest.